Hi everyone, this is Mavic Pua, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to go through the suggested solution for 2020 A-Levels H2 Chemistry, Paper 1, Question 7. Now let's take a look at Question 7. 0 0.040 mole of HI is placed in a sealed vessel and allowed to reach equilibrium at a pressure of 1.0 atmosphere. So the equation is given between H2 plus I2 to give me 2 HI everything in the gaseous phase and the Kp is given at 54 at a certain temperature. So what is the partial pressure of Hi in the equilibrium mixture? And we have four options and we will want to run them through. The topic tested in this question will be under chemical equilibrium. So basically we need to fill up the ice table involving the initial change and equilibrium number of moles involving this equation and we link it to the partial pressure and once we can determine the partial pressure, I can substitute this into the Kp expression which is the equilibrium constant in terms of partial pressure and subsequently we want to solve for partial pressure for Hi. So let us run through how this ice table would look like. So what are the informations that we have inside this question is I start off with 0 0.040 mole of your Hi and you notice based on this equation, your Hi is actually the product. So it will appear on the right hand side. But we do know that this is a reversible reaction. So if I start off with the product, the reverse reaction will take place. So your Hi would react to give me H2 and I2. So we can work with that. So at the beginning, the initial number of mole of your H2 and I2 will be 0. And the initial number of mole of Hi will be 0 0.040. 0. And I know that the reaction will start in the reverse direction. Hi will be reacted to form H2 and I2. And since I don't know what is the extent of the reaction, I don't know how much of your H2 is formed and I2 is formed, I can let it be an unknown term. I let it be x. So since the mole ratio of this equation is 1 is to 1 is to 2, and therefore, in terms of the change in the number of mole, let it be x is to x is to 2x. And remember, Hi is being used up. So this would be a minus 2x for your Hi. And H2 and I2, it is formed. So this would be a plus x for H2 as well as I2. So at equilibrium, what I'll end up with is I can work out the number of mole of each of these components at equilibrium. I will have x moles of your H2. I'll have x moles of your I2 and I'll have 0 0.04 minus 2x most of your Hi. So at equilibrium, these are the amount of your reactants as well as the product. Now keep in mind, the total number of mole, we actually need this to calculate the partial pressure. The total number of mole will just be the number of mole of H2 plus the number of mole of I2 plus the number of mole of Hi at equilibrium. And this will add up to be 0 0.04. Then, what we can work with next is, I want to determine the partial pressure. Now, why do I want to determine the partial pressure? It's because the question gives me the Kp expression, which is 54. And Kp is the equilibrium constant in terms of partial pressure for the gases. So what we will want is, I want the partial pressure. I know the total pressure of the system is at one atmosphere. So what I can do next is, I can work out the partial pressure at equilibrium for each of these components, correct? The partial pressure, for your H2 will just be the mole fraction of your H2 multiplied by the total pressure. The number of mole of H2, which is x, divided by the total number of mole, which is 0 0.04, multiplied by the total pressure, which is at 1 atmosphere, which is x divided by 0 0.04 times 1.0, which would work out to be x divided by 0 0.04. Now, similarly, I can do the same to determine the partial pressure for my I2, which will also be x divided by 0.04. I can do the same for your Hi, which is the number of mole, 0.04 minus 2x, divided by the total number of mole, 0.04, multiplied by one atmosphere. You go back to the same value. So now I have the partial pressure of each of these components at equilibrium. And the next thing we can do, of course, is I can substitute this into the Kp expression and I can solve for x. Now Kp, which is the equilibrium constant in terms of partial pressure, will just be the partial pressure of your product raised to the power of the coefficient divided by the partial pressure of the reactants raised to the power of the coefficient. So your Kp in this case will be 
the partial pressure for Hi power 2 because inside the equation I have 2 Hi the coefficient for Hi will be 2 divided by the partial pressure for H2 power 1 and the partial pressure of I2 power 1 because the coefficient for each of these terms will be coefficient 1 and this is equal to 54 this information is given in the question so what I can do next is I can substitute the partial pressure which we have worked out based on the I stable here I can substitute all these values in the partial pressure for your Hi will be 0.04 minus 2x divided by 0.04 which will be here whole thing square term then divide this by the partial pressure for your H2 which is x divided by 0.04 which is here and the partial pressure for I2 which is also x divided by 0.04 which will be here so now I have an equation involving x I can try to solve for x and the calculation is here let me just show you the working here now this entire term I can express this as 0.04 minus 2x divided by x whole thing square because what you notice is my 0.04 square term I can cancel with these two terms in the denominator and this x times x will be an x square so I can combine the square term together on the left hand side I will have 0.04 minus 2x divided by x whole thing square term is equal to 54 what I'll do is I'll do a square root on both sides so I can solve for this 0.04 divided by x minus 2 is the square root of 54 which works out to be 7.348 then I can bring the 2 over to the right hand side so 0.04 divided by x will be 9.348 of course I can solve for x x will give me 4.279 times 10 to the power of minus 3 so x would have this particular value but keeping in mind the question is asking what is the partial pressure for Hi in the equilibrium mixture and x is not the partial pressure remember x is just the change in the number of mole of your H2 and your I2 so what we would need to keep in mind is I need to substitute this x equals to this term here and I work out the partial pressure at equilibrium involving Hi which of course shouldn't be that much of a problem we already have the expression out the partial pressure for Hi at equilibrium according to the ice table that we have previously will be 0.04 minus 2x divided by 0.04 I already have the value for x here 4.279 times 10 to the power of minus 3 it's just an issue of substituting this value into the expression and I use calculator and I solve for this round this off to two decimal places I can figure out the pressure will be 0.79 atmosphere so if I look at my options A, B, C, D, obviously the answer will be option B. Alright, so that was the discussion involving question 7. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.